Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a requested look. I wore this look in my last two videos, the Ulta haul and I wore it in the Q&A. It was requested a few times so I figured I'd go ahead and do it for you. It was super super simple. I guess it was just that pop of color that gave edge to it. But yeah, a few of you guys requested it. So I thought I would go ahead and record it for you guys because it was so, so simple and I love when I get requests because it gives me like something to do. So yeah, so I'm going to be recreating that look for you guys. The first video in the Ulta video, I'm wearing 09 and Watermelon Slice. And then in the q and I'm actually wearing um, NYX Apple Strudel Lip Gloss and Lorac Girl Next Door. It's a lipstick. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing that I switched up. And it's actually pretty funny because I was actually kind of laughing and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback that you guys left in my q and It was just, I'm just so appreciative of it and like just reading all your comments and stuff like that is just like making me laugh and putting a smile on my face. And it's so funny too because my husband... He didn't want to do that video. He kind of did, but he kind of didn't just because he's so awkward. And I'm trying to get him to like vlog now because sometimes we do do some fun things. And I, I think it would be cool to do like some vlogs sometimes. But yeah, it was just so funny because he was like, what comments did you get? Like, what's going on? Like, he's so interested to know what you guys are saying. And yeah, he's actually reading the comments as well. And it's... I guess it's making that awkwardness go away. So yeah, if you guys ever want to see a future video with him or anything like that, always leave another request because maybe he'll read it. And I think that's super cute that he's like reading my comments. And I had so much fun filming it for you guys. So thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, if you guys ever have like future requests for videos, always leave it down below. I always read your comments. I always love getting back to you guys. But yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into this requested look. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any future requests, always leave it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So starting off, I'm just using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Stromboli. I've been obsessed with this. It just makes your skin look so, so beautiful. And I'm going to blend that into my skin with a Real Techniques blending sponge. And I'm just going to dab that all over my face until it's blended flawlessly. And then, yes. One thing I did want to say, I'm like all kinds of different colors right now. I'm going to show you guys my messed up tan, but... Yeah, so I don't even know what foundation to use. But moving on to the brows, I'm just going to fill them in very lightly. You guys know me, I'm new to brows, so yeah. Moving on to the eyes, a soft ochre paint pot, and then I'm going to be using MAC Rule with a Sigma 224 brush, and I'm just going to tap off the excess and blend this into my crease. Then after it's blended to my liking, I'm just going to grab any clean brush and I'm going to use that on my brow bone because I didn't want anything extreme and I'm moving on to sapphire I don't know it's gonna be listed down below it's a matte color and you can use um, brown script because it's basically a dupe for that and I'm just going to blend that into the outer V and into the deep crease just to give more depth I didn't want anything too extreme I'm just blending it out right here um, I but I wanted the orange to pop out because it's gonna bring out that copper and the copper is gonna bring out the orange and as you can see right here I am blending copper sparkle by Mac and I did wet my brush and I'm just going to tap that all over my lid so that it's not that much fallout and I don't bring it all the way just to kind of the edge and then just blend out everything so there's no harsh lines Using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara to prep my eyes for falsies, I'm using the Iconics. And moving on to concealer, I'm using, uh, I believe, Light Warm, the new Urban Decay one. Like I said, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. This is my third time using it, and today I actually got a little bit used to it. I liked how it brightened, and it kind of did cover up. Maybe I'm just getting used to it, but... I still prefer my other concealers but it does do the job it's weightless it's light and it's nice so then after that's all set I'm going to set it with my banana powder and it kind of balanced it out because it is kind of light and using that same color I am just going to blend that to my lower lash line and smoke it out 
I'm using a L'Oreal ice, iced latte in my inner corners and then I'm just going to put mascara on my lower lash line. Moving on to the face, I am going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just going to contour the hollow parts of my cheeks with my contour brush from Real Techniques. As you guys can see, I always do the bottom of my face because I have a round face and I like it to look more deep and slimmer. And I do the three. Using a MAC Warm Soul, I'm using that on the apples of my cheeks, blending it back into my contour. And then my favorite part, I'm going to be moving on to my favorite highlighter of all time. It just, oh my god guys, it just gives such a beautiful glow. It's Pink Diamond by the Ulta brand. And then I'm moving on to lips. I'm using Naked Peach by BH Cosmetics. And then I'm going back to highlight my upper lip and then using angel food cake by nyx but that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys